We're Nick and Rachel, and we're building our first ever DIY camper out of a retired ambulance. This week, we're learning about solar power and are committed to getting our electrical system figured out. As first-time van builders, we have a lot of learning to do, but we're keeping our eye on the prize to make sure that we get this right. We're just trying to find like a storefront that has solar panels so that we can actually like, talk to someone and get them today. Because every time we look online, um, everything is sold out or unavailable or expensive and we're just confused. We're just confused. Okay, this looks like the storefront. Stoves, solar, fireplaces, and more! Woo! Calm down, Spaz. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, folks. We are at my new job. Uh, we decided to give up on the ambulance, and I've decided to follow my passion for... For lumber? lumber. Yeah. So we're at a lumber yard right now, and we just met with a guy. Did you get his name? Uh, no, I didn't get his oh, name. We have to get his name tomorrow. Yeah, um, but he, um, yeah, so the solar, I guess that's the cool thing about where we're living right now, here in Lumbee. Um, we went to get our solar panels, we found a little store in Lumbee, and the guy was able to refer us to this, like, lumber mill that's, like, 10 minutes up the road that's, like, I don't know, I, I wouldn't think anybody would think to come here. You would uh -huh. never know, so this is what it looks like from the... It's just like a mill, yeah, like a lumber mill. So, yeah, we he referred us up here, so we came up, and the guy has the exact uh, siding that we want, like the walls and ceiling that we want, um, and it's cedar as well, and it's cheaper than buying it at, like, Canadian Tire or something. And we don't have to support the corporations today, for well, at least for this one. Yeah. We're supporting Rona a lot, but you know, it's nice to be able to go to someone who's locally here. Locally here. <laughs> we can't talk today. <laughs> who's here? A local. It's nice to be able to come and support. Yeah, local business. Is, of course, it's super important. Um, so we're just going to go do some more measurements because he had a very good point. And cutoffs. To not have, like, to limit the amount of cutoffs. The waste, yeah. To not waste any wood, which is, seems obvious, but we didn't think about that. Yeah, I was just ready to just buy yeah. however many square feet. So we're going to go measure some more. We have solar panels in the back right now, and then, um, yeah, it's really hot outside. I, I feel like I see that in every single vlog. I'm like, it's so hot. Yeah, all right, cool. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. Basically, here's what happened. We installed the solar panels. We've realized it's, I think I said this in our first or second vlog, but it's very, very hot here. So we've kind of started working like later in the day when the sun isn't as hot. And um, so yesterday we were installing our solar panels and went to go um, do the wiring, put the wiring down, put it up to the charge controller, and then the ground cable, the black cable, does not reach. So we had to get a longer cable. So that means we couldn't finish last night, and then today we went into town, and I think I also explained this in one of our past videos, but it takes us a while to get into town. We're living like out in the middle of the country. So it um, takes us like, you know, 20 minutes to get into town, and then, you know, with waiting in line and everything, they cut us a longer cable, but we measured it wrong, I guess. We thought it was 10 feet, so we asked for 13 feet, but originally it was 15 feet, so we actually needed like 18 feet. So we finally just got home, and 
went to go, you know, start feeding the wire through and it's too short. And now everything's closed because it's after 5 p.m. So, nothing got done today. Absolutely nothing. And the problem is, is that we've now put like a little hole in our roof so that we can feed the wire through it. And um, we just have to hope it doesn't rain. So that means tomorrow when we go in to um, pick up our cedar, which we've ordered, but it's not ready yet. So we have to go pick that up tomorrow. When we go in tomorrow, then we're gonna have to get another cable cut. Um, so yeah, we'll measure it like a thousand times this time. But it's just annoying. It's just annoying because it was such a simple mistake. Um, and it was basically our whole project for, for the entire day, so. I finished. <laughs> so we have the solar panel cords coming from the solar panels into here. Um, I wanted to, there's a little hole in here that the cords go down through. Cords just feed into there obviously. Um, I wanted to kind of give this more of like a finished look <laughs> instead of just like a big ball of goop around the hole. Um, instead I got a big ball of goop around the hole and I paid like eight bucks for this thing. So whatever, I mean, it's all sealed up. Um, the die core should do its thing. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I'll just touch that up a bit on the corner there. But yeah, um, I mean, it's, it's weatherproof. It's not pretty, but it's weatherproof. So this is the bottom side here. There's still a bit of butyl tape that I put just underneath. So that should be sealed mixed with the die core on top of it. Like, I don't think anything's getting through. Um, there's the hole there, just in there. Wires come down. I've ran them alongside the electrical box. I put a wooden box around the electric box. And our cords run down here, all the way down into the bottom. And then the solar controller is gonna go up against the wall of this box on the other side with all of the other electronics. order for all of our cedar and then we can go pick it up today Woohoo! how many trips to the lumber yard did that take this will be our third <sighs> So it's the next morning. Um, we got all of our tongue and groove uh, paneling for the walls and the ceiling. Uh, we couldn't really film it because it was like a two man job to carry some of it. Well, I just wanted help. So anyways, we're gonna just check on it. I've um, thrown some tarps over it just to protect it from the weather in case it rained at night. Also, I was reading, because it's cedar, I was reading that certain animals like to eat cedar and I, we have a lot of animals around here. So I just felt like tarping it up would just be a better idea a lot of animals on this property. Let's just say that. This is all over our beautiful cedar. Well, I mean, it's like cabin grade, so it's like the lowest <laughs> grade. So there are, there's a lot of knots and stuff to cut out, which really just kind of makes more work for me, but it's that's fine, like, it saves us a lot of money, so. It saved us like half the amount. It was like double the amount to get the next grade. More than double the amount. Yeah. yeah, it was it was like a crazy amount. So, I mean, dealing with a few knots is not that big of a deal in comparison to having to pay a shill of more money. It took a little longer than expected to finish everything off. Um, I kept mistaking the lengths of uh, MC4 connector wire that we needed for the solar panels. Um, the negative, because we have them run in series, the negative is a lot farther away from where the hole is that we're feeding them into to the solar controller. And we originally had 10 foot of each length, and then I thought 13 would cover it, and then we were short. 
ended up getting 18. Anyways, it took a little while. It's all done now. Solar panels are screwed in. The wires are fed down through the roof. Um, I just have to screw in the solar controller, which will take me maybe 30 seconds. Um, and we also got our tongue and groove paneling from our lumber guys down the road here in Lumbee. So still the next thing that we have to do is buy batteries because our batteries are shot. They do not work anymore. So we're gonna buy two batteries this week and then we can actually test it with our, our solar system that we've, that you've so nicely set up <laughs> this week. Well, we have to test everything, like the lights as well. And like, I can't put the walls and ceiling up until I test the electrical. <laughs> right. So for, to do that, we need to get two new batteries. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that will probably be tomorrow. Um, it's the weekend now, so we're gonna go enjoy the weekend, get out of this heat a little bit, and go get in the water. I feel like we say that in every single vlog. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We're super stoked that this thing is coming together, um, even with all our little mistakes, but I guess that's a part of it. Right? <laughs> okay, back.